vigilante Winston here with something a little bit different. I am from Detroit, a huge Lions fan. This is the Lions' best season in my lifetime for the most part. You can argue the 91 year, and we'll, we'll get into that slightly. Um, but we're having a good year. It's Thanksgiving Day, about 6 a.m. as I'm recording this. And I happened to find this article of our old quarterback, Scott Mitchell, being mad that he's getting too much blame. So we're going to look at the numbers. We're going to look at his quotes. And we're going to look at the numbers. And Scott, I don't know what is going on in your life. You need Jesus. Now, let's go. It starts because of this uh, documentary on Amazon called Bye Bye Barry. And I love how uh, they say it makes for a seriously salty Scott. You're not kidding. Let's just get with the quotes. Because uh, that's all I care about. I'm not going to get to everything. I just watched Bye Bye Barry on Amazon Prime. Mitchell wrote in a lengthy Facebook rant. So this is all from a Facebook rant. It was not a pleasant experience. I was Barry Sanders' teammate for five years. I had a front row seat, some of the most amazing plays in NFL history. He will never have an equal pure runner in the NFL. I could argue there were more, uh, there were several running backs that were more complete. I would even make that argument, um, believe it or not, even though I'm a huge Barry Sanders fan. Uh, but I won't. Barry was great. However, I'm so tired of hearing I was the reason Barry Sanders never won a Super Bowl. I'm tired of hearing how I was not a good QB. My only response is fuck you all. That includes Eminem and Jeff Daniels. Let's keep going. There's more quotes. And this brings up the, the one good year he had. Uh, Scott Mitchell did have a year. We got 32 touchdowns, 4,300 yards. We went 10 to 6. Um, and then it, it talks a little bit about how Wayne Fonts said that he went after Joe Montana and Warren Moon uh, because they, they both, I think, would have been free agents around that time if you remember Joe Montana not necessarily that year that we got him maybe that year I I, I would have to do more research to make sure but uh, Joe Montana went from the 49ers to the Chiefs ironic same jerseys right and Warren Moon went from the Oilers to where did he go next would it have been to um, the Vikings it may have been the Vikings I would have to look it up one can of worms for one video right uh, more quotes from Scott Mitchell. I can't even begin to tell you what a disappointment it is to hear my own coach, Wayne Fonts. He's your coach. He's not your father. Who went out in free agency and actively pursued me to the point of begging me to come to Detroit, say that he wanted Joe Montana and Warren Moon, the only thing missing from the team, winning the Super Bowl was a quarterback, Mitchell uh, wrote. A little support from the coach might have gone a long way. Wayne never had my back. Now, listen, this guy's a Gen X slash boomer. I don't want to hear that millennials and zoomers are sensitive he is crying over a coach not having his back air quotes especially when you look at these numbers that it oh everyone loved him everything was built for barry to succeed in his 10-year career really i doubt so he won one playoff game the reason he didn't win more was everyone else was the problem how many yards did he have in 94 95 97 i'll give you a hint not very many. We are all not to blame for not winning a Super Bowl in Detroit, even Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders deserves some blame. We'll show that he did have a pretty bad game in 94. But, Scott, you weren't even the quarterback Dave Craig was. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. Matter of fact, let's start getting into these fucking stats. First off, let's look at Scott Mitchell. Let's look at Scott Mitchell. Look at these numbers. You have the one year in 95 uh, where he had 4,300. Oh, and real quick, let's go back to this quote before I get into this. Um... I can see him begging Scott Mitchell to come to Detroit. If you remember, and we can go back to the numbers, he was Dan Marino's backup, and that's what got him hyped. So he was Dan Marino's backup. 57% is, is solid for the 90, 1,700 yards in a short stint uh, in about seven games. And especially if you flamed out on Joe Montana and Warren Moon and you got this hot backup, you might beg him to come. I don't disagree. That may have happened. But then this fucker gets injured, four and five. It took Dave Craig, who went five and two, to get us to the playoffs in 94. And we can look at Barry's numbers, his playoff stats, real quick. Barry did have negative one yards in that 94 game. He actually only has one good playoff game. This is from two two uh, playoff games in 91, which was the only year we actually had a chance to win the Super Bowl. For real, for real. He only has one good playoff game in 93, for, for the real, for real. Barry says, but let's get into some of the reasons why. Let's check out the 90, what's this, 95 game? 
This is 94. This is 94. You can give Barry Sanders some blame for this game. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. He deserves he deserves a share of blame for this game. Only get negative one yard. Only had 13 carries. So you maybe, you know, put someone on the coach, maybe not giving him the ball enough, but they was getting stopped. You got to also give Green Bay. This is uh, the Mike Holmgren Green Bay uh, before they went to the Super Bowl the year before. They deserve some credit. Is um, Let me see. I'm just looking at the defense real quick for Green Bay. Reggie White is on that team. So you do have Reggie White. He did get a sack too. And you, who knows how much. You know, the numbers aren't going to tell it. Reggie White could have caused some chaos. So Reggie White probably has a little bit to do with why Barry only got negative one yard. So you can give Barry some blame for that. But let's look at these other games. Let's look at this 95 game. Bro, we gave up 31 points in the second quarter. How are you supposed to run the ball when you're down 31-7 at the half? By the way, they're not all offensive points. Interception return in the second quarter. You're throwing pick sixes in the playoffs and wondering why you're getting blamed? Are you fucking kidding me, man? You threw a pick six. How about that? How about that throw a pick six? Let's go back to these guys' numbers, by the way. Speaking of picks, 32 and 12 the one year that was solid. That he would go into the playoffs and throw that pick six and help us be down 31-7. 96, 17 and 17. How come we didn't make the playoffs in 96, guy? Since you don't deserve any blame. Next year, 19 touches, 14 picks. I know it's the 90s. I know they could rob the receivers. I know they could bang the quarterback. I get that. But you're not putting up stellar numbers, my guy. 3,400 yards is cool for that era. But you're not putting up stellar numbers. And I'm, I get... Other people, you know, other parts of the team deserve blame as well. You could have put more of them on the offensive line, but you're throwing pick sixes in the playoffs, my guy. What what are your numbers for the game? Four picks? You're throwing four picks in the playoffs and wondering, huh, why is the quarterback being blamed for us not winning a Super Bowl? I wonder fucking why. You tell me, Scott. Is it because you're a straight white male? Is that why you're getting blamed? And I don't, I, you know, I'm, I'm taking a guess on the straight part because you're coming off like a bitch. Why did you throw four picks? If you don't want to get blamed for losing in the playoffs, don't throw four picks. How about that? How about that, my guy? Good googly moogly. I wonder why he only had 40 rushing yards when his quarterback threw four picks. No. Six picks between two quarterbacks. I wonder why. Why do they blame the quarterback? And then the next year, <laughs> we're going against the fucking Bucks. I wonder why we hit. I wonder when your quarterback is god awful and you can stuff the box with Warren Sapp, fucking John Lynch, and Darren Brooks. I wonder why you only get 60 yards. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? You only got 65 yards because you can't get anything out of your quarterback position. Because you're getting 78 yards from your starting quarterback. You're getting 78 yards of the pick out of your starting quarterback. And therefore, one of the greatest defenses of all time before they really came into uh, maturation can stuff the box or the running back, and he only gets 65 yards. I wonder why he didn't have that many yards in those playoff games, Scott. I'll grant you the 94 game, which you didn't even play in. You weren't the quarterback in 94, homeboy, because you got injured because you're trash. Dave Craig had to play. And you know what Dave Craig didn't do in that playoff game? He didn't throw a pick. You deserve the blame, homeboy. Now, you could have said this. You could have said, hey, our offensive line wasn't that great. Our defense was inconsistent. And, yeah, I deserve my share of the blame. Barry's a great player. I can understand not wanting to get all the blame. That maybe you do legitimately get too much of the blame considering everything else with the team. 
But homie, you were not putting up numbers to be talking the shit that you're talking. I don't know what to say. You tell me, am I crazy? If you like the video, please like the video. If you're so obliged to share and subscribe, please do that. And even if you do none of these things, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Good night and God bless. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.